So after um, a lot of comments on my video about the bathroom, a lot of people said to take the doors off, literally hacked the doors off and we've put a curtain on it. And to be honest, I don't know if it's made it worse because it means I can now fall that way. So, <coughs> as you can see, it doesn't always go to plan. Um, this happened again a few, um, a few days ago, and because Jack wasn't here, um, I had to literally like drag my body along to get anywhere because when this floor is wet. It's um, it's obviously too dangerous for me to do like a floor to chair transfer. So but you can see how sharp it is. And the last, the last time I fell, I fell with one leg there and one leg there. So I could have done some like serious damage. Um, so. So, let's get that out of the way. So what I had to do is because I was home alone, I just literally had to, had to just drag myself because it was so wet, I couldn't do a floor to chair transfer. Luckily, now this laminate flooring is better than getting carpet burn. Let me see. So I had to do this. And then what I did was get on the sofa. And then get my chair because that was the easiest way that I could do it. This is obviously just a temporary measure until I can finally get it adapted properly. Um, it is still a big risk and to be honest I don't know if it's made it worse because it means I can now fall that way and it also means that the floor gets wetter so then it's more slippy on my uh, for my wheels um, however it does give me a lot more movement um, I'm able to kind of put my legs like out you know put my legs out properly instead of having to go into such a tiny little cubicle I find as well it's better without the door that was here so at least I've got a bit of space but as I said it's now a big danger that I'll fall that way <laughs> um, so you can't really win with it really um, if anyone else has any temporary solutions I can do then please let me know. Today I'm just doing a little update on my bathroom so as people may know um, I've started to go filming because um, we were denied a £14,000 disabled facilities grant. Just to clear it up as well the £14,000 quote isn't just for the bathroom um, because the bathroom wouldn't cost fourteen. This is for widening doorways, it's for back garden and um, uh, ramp renovation and yeah literally widening every single doorway in the house so it's not just the bathroom and um, what I have come to realize is it's very unlikely that I'll get 14,000 and the main thing that needs sorting is this bathroom so what we have done is we've just got a little curtain on it at the moment so it's a little cubicle so we've put a little curtain um, there just to give me a bit more space um, but it is a bit of a struggle um, I, yeah I just want to make the update one because um, I wanted to show you that I've tried to make it a bit better two is because I've been having more falls and it scared me and yeah the other day I literally was getting in and I think I either misjudged it or it slipped and I ended up literally falling hard on the edge of the shower cubicle and I was home alone so I couldn't really tell if I was hurt, I had no idea, my legs weren't spasming as sometimes that happens if I've had like a big traumatic thing in the areas that I can't feel. Um, but I didn't get any of that and I was just stuck there like literally in the mid in the middle of my two bum cheeks I felt right on that that could have caused serious damage 
um, and because Jack wasn't here I literally had to haul my body, my limp lower half, literally haul my ass over to the sofa and um, actually get on. Um, I'm not some money grabbing idiot, like I'm not pressuring anyone into donating. I'm so thankful to everyone that has donated and that's because they want to help me. A lot of the people, you know, they'll put a message on and it's because they're paraplegic too and they know how hard it is and they'll know that, you know, sometimes the benefit system and everything isn't fair. They'll know all that and they'll know how hard it is and they can be empathetic to how I literally have to leap into my own shower and risk injury and just because I work and just because I work and earn money and my boyfriend works and earns money then we're expected to pay for it but you'd kind of think that no matter I mean unless you're a millionaire you'd think you'd almost be entitled to being safe um, but I guess then the the opposing argument would be, well, you need to just find an accessible home in the first place that doesn't need adapting. But the reason I bought this home is because I thought I'd get it. I thought me and my boyfriend would get it. The occupational therapist told us that mortgage and uh, outgoings take into account, but it's actually not. She was wrong. And so we waited a year, hoping, and then, and then we were just denied it. Um, if obviously I'd known that I'd deny it, then I guess I probably wouldn't have bought this house because we don't have the money to go renovating everything. Like in an ideal world, it'd be brilliant if we could actually properly extend the bathroom because this is a very, it's a very small bathroom. Like I can barely turn in a circle in it. Um, so it'd be brilliant to make it bigger. Um, but yeah, we do want to get rid of this wall to at least push it out into a square rather than this awkward wall being here. And that's what was in the council quote. Uh, but yeah, a lot of things in the fourteen thousand pound council quote was it. It was the only reason I set the target as fourteen thousand is because they said it, it's likely to not exceed fourteen thousand. So for go for me, I was like, well, let's be safe. I'll put fourteen thousand because you don't know what other builders are going to charge. Do you know what I mean? Um, the main thing is getting this uh, bathroom done. So but I don't know what amount of donation is would actually at least make it safe, not like, even if it's not very livable, just literally rip it all out. Yeah, but obviously we do want it properly and I do want access to my back garden because um, obviously if there's a fire, I couldn't get out the back way. Um, so that's what the council are gonna do for us. Um, they're also gonna... Um, they're also, yeah, gonna widen literally every door frame and the porch and everything and also the conservatory as well yeah they just they said it would not likely exceed the 14,000 so that's what I put I'm not expecting 14,000 um but yeah even if even if I could go back in time and know that I wasn't going to get a bathroom grant I really don't think we could have found a home that's better than this one because all the bungalows that we went other than this literally had stairs up to them. <laughs> like everything in a price range, like which was very low, like this is a tiny little two bedroom bungalow and it's not really, it's more like a one bedroom really because uh, the other room is just like, I don't know if they can class it as a bedroom, it's a very small bedroom. Um, but yeah, there was there was no bungalow suitable. We you know we didn't even have front access or anything. Never mind a bathroom I could actually get into because a lot of them were even smaller than this, and a lot of them you know you can't expect to find a wet room in a bungalow because often bungalows are meant for elderly people. They're not meant for um, they're not always meant for disabled people. A lot of elderly people won't have a wet room, they'll just have a normal like bath and shower. And you know, if you think about all the bungalows that are on sale, do you really think that loads of them are gonna have built-in disabled wet rooms? It's very, very unlikely. You know, me and my parents have sold the house, they've got divorced, and they sold my family home. And uh, that one did have a, a wet room in it. That's because when I was 17 and in child services, 
I did get the Disabled Facilities Grant. So when I was 17, they don't take your income, obviously, because you're not earning anyway, and they don't take your parents' income, they just do it. Um, so it wouldn't matter how much my mum and dad won, they were going to get a disabled work room in there. So we got like a £10,000 disabled work room in there. Um, and this this doesn't mean that I can't get one now. The reason I can't get one is because I work. <laughs> That's it, it's because I work. Um, and I've got a partner, so his income's taken into account. And we're on low paying jobs and because of COVID, um, Jack hasn't been getting full pay and stuff. Uh, we don't have savings. That was the only thing that was good for our like case or whatever, is that we don't have savings. But the bad thing was that it didn't take into account our mortgage or anything. Um, and we got a lot to pay for as young adults. Like, we're not children anymore. And it's just a shame that I was 17, I got, I got the most perfect wet room. Um, and you know, I decided to take a big leap and move in to my boyfriend's uh, mum's house. You know, it was an hour and a half away. I decided I wanted to be with my boyfriend and that was that. And yeah, I lived with my uh, boyfriend mum and him. And then, you know, I lost my employment support allowance when I went to go live here in Coventry because my partner's income was taken into account even though I was with him six months. It was uh, taken away, so I could no longer work part time. So I had to work, work, uh, do a full time job, as uh, got a teaching assistant job in a special needs school, and now, <laughs> and now because I am working full time, I don't get anything. Because if you're working more than twenty four hours a week, I think it is, and your partner is as well, you're you're gonna fail the financial assessment. And we work full time, so. Yeah, you know, and it's strange because me and my boyfriend only share bills. My boyfriend never pays for anything for me. I pay for everything myself. We've got separate bank accounts, and then when um, and then for our mortgage and bills, we put we put that amount in every month. And other than that, I don't see a penny of Jack's money, and he doesn't see a penny of mine. We pay for our own stuff, you know. And that's the modern way of doing it. We don't just share a big pot anymore like how they used to and the woman living off the man anymore. It's actually quite like, I don't know if it's sexist to take a man, I don't know. It's just like, why? Because why would, just because I've got a partner, why would he be expected to pay 14,000 to get the house made for a disabled person? Uh, but yeah, it's been a bit of struggle and it's gonna keep being a struggle. Um, Thank you to everyone just donated um, and to the mean comments about the suicide attempt and that it's all my fault. Thank you for making me feel shit about myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, so hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!